or putting in Zion. We are like eagles. We are mountain, 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 mountain. The hand of God upon me, mountain like an eagle, running like a stallion, rising up to Zion. The hand of God upon me, running like a stallion, mountain like a falcon, rising up to Zion. The hand of God upon me, running like a stallion, mountain like a falcon, rising up to Zion.
Psalm 16 verse 6. He said, O oh Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. Then, then he said, the lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yeah. Yes, I have a good have inheritance. Good. Uh, that's where a lot of people say, happy birthday. Lines fall to me in pleasant places. Yeah. A lot of people don't know what it means. They just say. Yeah. David was simply saying, God, you are my portion. People have things. They have their own things. But my inheritance is God. That statement was not from the Levites. God told the Levites, you're not going to get any inheritance. When Joshua was sharing the land of Israel and giving to the 12 tribes, he said, don't give Levites anything. And somebody who is looking from the natural will say, "Uh uh-uh, what did they do? What did they offer? They don't understand that. God was saying, these guys serve me. So they don't need land. Land is land. Giving them land as as an inheritance will limit them. Instead, Myself, I will be their portion, I will be their inheritance. So, David was prophesying that same statement, even though he was from the tribe of Judah, he was claiming the inheritance of the Levites and saying, Because I have chosen God, He is now my portion and my inheritance. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living, my God is good forevermore. My portion in the land of the living, my God is good. Hey. One of the reasons why people don't want to hold on to God as everything that He is is because they feel that He doesn't love them enough. If only that we, if only we could understand that God loves us more than we love ourselves. So I've learned three things three things that help me depend on God. Recklessly, one God is good, settle it in your mind. God is good, two God is able, God is able to do exceeding abundantly beyond your thoughts, your your imagination. Yes, and three (laughs) God loves you, God loves you, settle it in your mind. God is on your side. So if this good God who does good things is able to do anything and then loves me, what am I, what's my problem? What is my problem? How big is that problem? How big is my problem? The Lord is good forever. Say the Lord. The Lord is my portion in the land. Yes. In the 